This is the story of a game, but its climax comes not on the playing floor, but in the Niles dressing room just before the game. It comes as two members of the team reach a decision, a decision which will reflect on the whole school. To understand this, we need to go back about a week when signs like this were appearing all over the town of Niles. The game with Maine was the big game, and excitement was running high. Then, one evening, with a few signs left over, some of the fellows had an idea. They also had a tank full of gas. So they made the trip to the town of Maine and draped their banner right over the entrance of the rival high school. Well, some of the fellows at Maine figured they couldn't swallow an insult like that, so they paid a return visit to the town of Niles. Hey, 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 hey. By the morning of the game, you would have thought the very honor of Niles High was at stake. Everyone was in high spirits. Until they discovered that somebody from Maine had paid them one more visit. Look at that, so that'll never come on. Listen, we can let them get away with this kid. No! I'm gonna take it off. We're gonna beat them with them. Who do those guys from Maine think they are? They can't get away with that stuff. No, they've done it. Well, tonight they come here to play. Sure, and will they rub it in? Not if we can get even with them. How? I don't know yet. Hey, Joe, wait. I've got it. Their locker room. We can get what we need from the chemistry lab. They'll come out running and the laugh will be on them. It'll work, Joe. I know it will. <laughs> now listen. Yes, one thing led to another. All in the name of school spirit. But wait. Think. Is this school spirit? Is it good school spirit? Does it bring credit to the school? During lunch period, Roger went ahead with his plan to get even by preparing a special welcome for the visiting team. Of course, Roger and Joe were only part of the school. The others were getting ready too, but in a different way.
good, kid. Now let's have a cheer for the opposing team, Maine. be a good game tonight, but I want you to think for a moment now. We just gave a cheer for our opponents. Why did we do that? Well, I think we really mean it when we say, Maine high, fight, fight. We want our opponents to do their best, don't we? We want a good game. And we'll be out there tonight cheering them on, as well as our own team, because we want a good game. We have fine spirit in our school. And I'm proud of it. Oh, a few times this week we've almost lost our perspective, but I think we've done fairly well. Because the game is the important thing. Not just winning, not getting even, but having a good game is important. Now a good game is possible only through good sportsmanship. And good sportsmanship comes only from the right kind of school spirit. So come out and support your team. But remember, we're going to have a lot of guests tonight, so behave like good hosts, so we're sure to have a good game. That's all. Hey, Roger, where is it? You got it, didn't you? Uh, no. Why not? Oh, let's forget about it, Joe. We, we've got a game to play tonight. And let them make us look like fools? All right, forget it. I'll get it myself. No, Joe, wait. Well, what about it? Is a good game really the most important thing? Is a good game more important than getting even? Is it more important than winning? Yes, the climax of the story comes before the game. It comes when two members of the team make a decision. A decision as to how they will yeah. represent their school. I found out who painted the sidewalk last night. Jack Humphrey. Their first string guy? Yeah, and am I gonna get him? Even if I get kicked out of the game. Well, Joe, you can't do that. Uh, what's it to you? All right, fellas, let's talk it over. Now, I'm making a change in the starting lineup. Marv, you're going in at guard in place of Joe. Now, I want all of you to hear what I have to say. I want a team out there tonight I can be proud of. And by this time, all of you ought to know what kind of a team that is. Now, we've won a lot of games together, and I've been proud of you. We've lost some games, and I've been proud of you, too. Why? because you've played your best, because you've represented your school well, because in your individual play and in your team play, you've shown you know what playing a good game means. You've shown that you can combine sport and sportsmanship. Now, I'm a little worried tonight for the first time because I sense that some of you may have forgotten. Now, I hope I'm wrong. Before the game is over tonight, I think I'll know. All right, on the floor now. Play it clean, do your best. That's all I ask. Hey, Raj, wait a minute. Think about your school. Is the spirit in your school the kind that makes for good sportsmanship?